Hi, my name is Dr. Anthony Lamera and I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon. Today we're going to talk about the post-operative recovery after open heart surgery. Now before we get started though, I want to focus that this talk is just what happens after surgery and how patients go from the operating room ultimately to go home or rehab. Okay, let's get started. So if someone's going to have either elective or emergency surgery, they'll go to the operating room and they'll have their surgery performed. Once they're in the operating room and the surgery is completed and the patient's stable, we'll then take the patient to the intensive care unit. When the patient gets to the intensive care unit, our job and the staff, both the nursing and medical staff, is to make sure the patient's stable and constantly monitored. What we'll do is we'll check vital signs, we'll check blood work, we'll get an EKG and a chest x-ray. We do that as soon as the patient gets to the intensive care unit to get some baseline information. And we'll continue to monitor those values and testing to make sure the patient's stable throughout their hospital stay. If the patient is intubated when they come to the intensive care unit, which means the breathing tubes in their mouth, we'll work on getting them extubated. And that generally requires the patient to be hemodynamically stable, neurologically intact, so following commands, and also from a ventilatory or respiratory standpoint, stable and ready. Once the patient is extubated, we'll then try to mobilize the patient. We'll try to get the patient from the intensive care unit bed to a chair. After that first 24 hours, most patients will then move to a hospital ward outside the intensive care unit. Prior to going to the, prior to going to the ward, if they have any chest tubes in place, we'll try to get them out. If there's a catheter in their bladder, we'll also try to get that out as well. The whole goal is to keep the patient stable, but also to mobilize them as well. Once they're at the hospital ward, then we'll work on further mobilizing them. So we'll go from the, from the bed to the chair and then walking around the hallways. Once again, we'll try to get any chest tubes out and catheters in the bladder. We strongly encourage patients to eat and drink, so we'll work on that as well. If the patient's ready to go home, we'll be in contact with their family members so they're prepared for them as well. Some patients, unfortunately, are not ready to go home after surgery and they have to go to a rehab center. And so we'll have physical therapy and occupational therapy evaluate those patients to determine their needs and their level of care. Okay, most patients will spend somewhere between four or five days in the hospital before they go home or rehab. On the day of discharge, the patient, their family, and the nursing staff will then go over the discharge summary. During that time, we'll go over medications, we'll go over activity limitations, and we'll also go over questions the patient or families may have. Finally, we'll give them contact information, phone numbers, and people to call if there's questions. Okay, if th this is a brief description of what happens after you have open heart surgery. If you have any additional questions or issues, please let me know. Thank you very much.